The year was 1965, a time when New York City pulsed with a life all its own, a vibrant symphony of sounds, sights and experiences. The city was transforming, evolving, becoming the concrete jungle we now know and love. The streets, they were more than just pavement and crosswalks. They were the veins and arteries of a living, breathing metropolis. Pedestrians moved like a river down Fifth Avenue, a sea of hats, coats, and the occasional flutter of a newspaper caught in the breeze. The air was filled with a cacophony of sounds, the clatter of high heels on the pavement, the murmur of conversations, the occasional bark of a dog, and the ever-present honk of taxicabs. Traffic, too, was a sight to behold. Taxicabs painted in their iconic checkerboard pattern weaved through lanes with a certain brazen disregard for the rules of the road. The dance of the yellow cabs, the occasional private car, and the lumbering buses was a ballet choreographed by the ebb and flow of the city itself. The city's cafes were the heart and soul of New York. They were more than just places to grab a cup of coffee. They were the social hubs, the places where people came together. There was an undeniable energy to these places, a hum of activity that was as intoxicating as the aroma of freshly ground coffee. The clink of cups, the sound of the espresso machine, and the low hum of conversations created a symphony of urban life. As day turned into evening, the city took on a different hue. The buildings turned into silhouettes against the setting sun, their outlines softened by the diminishing light. Pedestrians on the road became shadows, their movements fluid and graceful in the dimming light. Now, fast forward to the present. New York City has changed in countless ways since 1965. The iconic checkerboard taxis have been replaced by a sea of yellow cabs. The cafes have become gourmet coffee shops, their interiors sleek and modern. The sounds of the city have changed too, the hum of conversation now mixed with the beep of mobile devices. And yet in many ways the city remains the same. The energy, the vibrancy, the pulse of life that made New York City so unique in 1965, it's still there. It's in the rush of pedestrians on Fifth Avenue, the buzz of the cafes, the rhythm of the traffic. New York City has evolved, yes, but it has not lost its soul. It remains, as always, a city that never sleeps. A city that is always moving, always changing, always alive.